right, uh, Sister Jawbone. Wow, that was a really great set. Um, thanks so much for performing on Sessions. Thank you. Thank you for um, having us. First off, can you guys uh, tell me a little bit about how you how you formed as a band and how long you've been playing together? I think uh, several years ago, I met Chrissy at a party at my house. We both learned that we grew up playing piano, yeah, for singing, and yeah. like. Church. A church situation. That gospel mm -hmm. background. Like gospel church. I, well, I noticed that gospel <laughs> influence right away. I mean, when the organ came mm -hmm. in. Yeah. And then I harassed yeah. Chrissy for a minute. It was like, we need to start a band because I wanted to vent about, you know, <laughs> things that I was mad at, boy troubles. And she was like, yeah. So then we did that. And then we realized we wanted, like, more sound. So we asked Liam to play. And also, originally, Chrissy's brother played yeah. drums. But then he moved on to his own solo stuff. And we've been having different drummers and guitar players. Mm -hmm. Chris has been playing with us, too, for a little while. So for and like four years, it's been evolving. Yeah. Cool. And uh, could you tell me about the songs uh, you performed today? Like, like are, are some of them newer or older? And uh, Can you tell me a little bit about the songwriting behind that? Yeah. Um, some of them are newer. Some of them are older. The last one was like about 10 years old, and it's been evolving. You know, mostly. You know, some of it's like venting about, you know, boys. But a lot of it is. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so basic. Yeah. Sounds so basic. Well, that's like a pillar of songwriting. It is. It like is. But then I like don't want to only talk about that. So I try to talk about, you know, like Granny was well. like thinking about what it's like to. Chris, Christy works in a nursing home. With, yeah, with dementia and Alzheimer's. And then the wall with your political take on the wall. <laughs> yeah. And just like, yeah, and then just thinking about like how aging is in your own head or like politics or, you know, what was Bluebird about, about like moving on to a different space in your life and that, that I feel like carries through still yeah. to these days. Relatable. Um, yeah. Levels. I don't know. And can you tell me a little bit about your influences and uh, individually, uh, whoever wants to, to answer this question, just like how, how the influences. I think it's time for you boys to talk. Because we already told you where our influences I should talk. I don't really know. Uh, I grew up listening to a lot of Hendrix and punk, old punk music. And uh, uh, now I listen to rap music. And I don't know. That's where my influence is for, for whatever. I think it helps with that. We're trying to go for kind of a little bit of an R&B sound too, you know? Sometimes, if we can. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it's eventually. Uh, <laughs> I, I definitely hear that yeah. R&B influence. Yeah. I mean, yeah. um, I like the old style, like the Ed James, uh -huh. and a little bit of Stevie. Mm -hmm. She pulls off the Stevie vibe very well. Yeah, and I definitely love Nina Simone, Etta, you know, Ray Charles, even, um, yeah, Gillian Welsh, and like some country stuff too. I don't know. This guy's like an old rocker. Yeah, I, I grew up actually. Nate, the drummer, and myself are in our own rock and roll band, and that's kind of what we cut our teeth on. We've been playing together for like 12 years, so we like all the classics, you know, Hendrix and Zeppelin and Sabbath. Definitely Sabbath. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> I, uh, I just wanted to ask you if you're working on maybe uh, some new projects, whether that's an album or uh, gearing up to write new songs, that sort of thing. Yeah, definitely gearing up to write songs. We all have been talking, we've been rehearsing a lot for gigs, and we're like, we all have ideas for new songs. So I feel like our next rehearsals this month are going to be about collaborating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. It'll be our first time with this setup of a band writing new stuff, so we're all looking to give that a whirl. And uh, do you have any uh, gigs coming up uh, throughout February or March? I believe at Majestic in Northampton. They asked us to play, we said yes. <laughs> so I think so, yes. that's a so, yes. So stay tuned. <laughs> On February 20th, this is Thursday cool. night. I feel like it's going to be confirmed. <laughs> well, hopefully yeah. by the time this video comes yeah. out, it'll be confirmed. Of course. And uh, just where can people find your music? Um, we just recorded three little live tracks in the studio near, here in Northampton of, of Downtown Sounds. Um, so there's something on Bandcamp under Sister Jawbone. Just a few tracks and then of course, you know, this thing. So we hope to put out some more media this year with writing and all that stuff. 
Awesome. Well, good luck and thanks so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having us. Thank you.